Hello everyone, welcome to my new JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to use a JWindow Swim component. So JWindow Swim component is uh, like a JFrame, a JFrame, a standalone top level uh, container. But a uh, major difference between these two components is that uh, JWindow doesn't have this title bar or these management buttons for exit, maximize or minimize. So we could say that uh, J window is something like uh, standalone J panel. Uh, basic rule of uh, J window is to serve for loading screen. Uh, as you can see in this application, we have a J window and here we have a J progress bar. Now let's create a class to show you how J window works. I'll name my class window. Okay. Let's delete these and this. Uh, let's inherit everything from J window class. Okay, let's import J window from JavaScript here. Uh, also, I'm going to add a J panel on our J window and I'll set background the color of that panel to blue to see better what's happening here. Okay, let's import J panel and let's create a constructor. Let's call set background method. And I'll pass value of color blue. Okay, now let's add panel to our J window. Uh, in main method, I will instantiate our window class. Uh, now I'm going to call two methods set size and set risk. with 180 and set visible true. Uh, as you can see, J window doesn't have a set default close operation method, so we can't uh, close our J window on traditional way. Uh, the way I'm going to close J window is by double click on its uh, area on its surface, uh, and I'm going to do that by adding so-called mouse listener on J window. Uh, we didn't uh, learn listeners yet, but in this case I'll have to make an exception. So just follow what I'm typing. And let's say add mouse listener. And here I'm going to create a new anonymous class, mouse adapter anonymous class. In also let's import mouse adapter from Java auth event library. Uh, here I'm going here inside of this anonymous class, I'm going to override mouse collect method. parameter will be mouse event. Also I will import mouse event from Java auth event. Okay, uh, here I'm going to create a simple if statement and I'll say e dot get get click count. So when I equals two, so when I double click on my J window, our J window will dispose. Okay, let's save it and let's run it. Okay, here it is, our J window. As you can see, it's something like a standalone J panel. 
and when I double click it will dispose. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.